shot you, the asshole! Getting a career in IT in 2017. Originally posted Wednesday, January 25th, 2017. This is an article I had my IT buddy write in response to a surge of requests from Asshole Consulting about the IT industry, how to get into it, what to specialize in, and should you go to college, boot camp, or a two-year community college. I am not an expert in the field, so I decided to outsource it to a professional to give us the lowdown on this industry and how to get into it in 2017. And you can tell he's a professional IT genius because of his indifference for spelling and typos. Because of the constantly changing nature of IT, I am kicking around doing a State of the IT Union address each January. Regardless, you can find my IT friend here for all your IT and computer needs. There is a cliché in consulting. The answer to any question is always, it depends. That cliché fits rather nicely into this topic. Education. College education will not land one a job, nor will it properly prepare one for a job in the IT field. IT as a whole moves far too fast for the typical four-year college to design a program that will reflect the jobs available. Two-year and trade schools are far better in getting one prepared for entering the workforce, however are often too focused and become outdated. However, what a bachelor's degree does is allow one to move further up the ladder, further and faster, potentially management one day. It also puts you ahead of the next person, assuming the only difference is education. Two big reasons for that is A, by completing a degree, it shows that the potential to learn is there, and B, a certain amount of dedication and work ethic is present. Also, as you may have already heard, a college degree is more of a passport. Certifications are great, however, one is probably better off being more well-rounded, and if the employer wants you to focus on one area, then they will send you there. A couple of issues with doing certifications on your own is that they are very specific. Is there an actual real demand for people having that certification? What happens in 24 months when things change and the certification is, for the most part, null and void? For instance, holding a certification in Windows 2008 doesn't hold much weight anymore. However, if one achieves a multi-level certification, say, for instance, Microsoft Certified Server Engineer, VMware Certified Professional, or Cisco Certified Internet Engineer, these certs will be a feather in your cap and will be an asset no matter how old they are. Even if one had an MSCE in Windows Server 2003, that communicates that you have a good foundation of how things work, and adapting to the newer stuff will be easier than someone coming in fresh. Specific Areas of IT Server Administration Server virtualization has been hot for the past 10 years, and will continue to stay at the very least warm. In a nutshell, server virtualization is taking a single server but making it appear to the network as if there are 10 servers on the network. For instance, a cluster of three physical servers can present well over a dozen virtual servers to the network, and be able to act as failover for each other. All without the end users or their computers knowing. VMware ESX Microsoft Hyper-V, known as hypervisors, are the biggest players in this space. This area is starting to cool a bit since the cloud has come to the grasp of mere motors. Nowadays, any tech-savvy person can set up their own servers using places like AWA, Amazon Web Service, thus bypassing the need for much of in-house IT. Many smaller players also basically can provide a company all of their server needs as a subscription service. A smart play may be to become skilled in manipulating these types of environments. Companies are shrinking their budgets, thus requiring IT professionals to do more with less. Thus, anything that automates, scripts, or generally allows an IT person to get more stuff done in less time will be in demand. A good place to start is technologies like Puppet, Chief, and PowerShell. Security is super in demand now, and will be for the near future. There are very few industry standard or commonly accepted certifications in this area. Well, other than a Cisco certified security expert. To be good in this area, one needs to know networking inside and out. Get the experience playing with firewalls, routers, and switches. Then go beyond that looking into white and black hack items. Database slash information architecture has always been in demand and keeps growing at a slow but steady rate. A quick search on the buzzwords big data or Hadoop shows just how in demand they are. The basics of databases haven't changed much in 20 years, however, the implementation has. 
If one gets to be comfortable with Microsoft SQL, either as a data designer or the implementation engineer, there will always be work for them. Docker will be very big for those looking to get into code. Docker is essentially doing for applications what VMware did for servers. Docker provides a framework for applications without all the heavy operating system. It is a modular system. One can simply load a database Docker or a CRM Docker, etc., and not have to install a Windows server for each application. One just sets up the Docker infrastructure and then adds or removes application components. Coding Programming languages are very much like real languages. Learning the first one is real hard. Switching or learning additional ones is easier as your brain picks out methods and similarities. I.e., if one knows German and needs to learn Italian, it will be much easier for that person versus the person learning Italian who only knows English. What am I saying? It doesn't matter what computer language gets taught. Once you know one, it becomes easier to switch to another down the road. The hot language changes about every five to ten years anyways. However, there will always be a demand for the language of yesterday. Apps written in the older languages will still need to be updated and changed or rewritten. Help desk slash user training slash assistance. As applications are becoming more web-driven, computers have gotten cheaper and less repairable. This has lessened the need for the typical help desk person in one aspect, but on the flip side, there will always be a need for people to do the hand-holding, the guiding, the troubleshooting for the end users. One just will not be doing nearly as much swapping out hardware components. In summary, don't simply take a look at salary guides out there and make a career decision based mostly on that. To be successful in IT in general, one needs to have a natural interest in the area, a desire to learn, fast learning, and a troubleshooting mindset. If you are just chasing the money, you will fail or get an entry-level job and stay at roughly the same position for life. Education is great. The more the better. It will never hurt you. Experience is just as important. This industry is flooded with people who have all sorts of acronyms behind their name but can't think worth a darn, think outside the box, or troubleshoot. Some things just can't be taught in class. Or to use another cliche, they can talk the talk but cannot walk the walk. Start anywhere looking for experience. Start with getting a used PC and building or repairing it up. Start helping others with their technical difficulties. Start playing around with networking gear. Start dabbling in scripting and programming. Often, just having some experience with the technology is all it takes. Mastery of the technology is often not needed to land a good job.